On this occasion, the board members of the Punjabi Heritage Foundation of Canada have decided to honor three prominent Punjabis living in Ottawa. The first one would be Mr. Kailash Mittal, the second one would be Ms. Ajit Pal Kortivana, and the third one would be Mr. Diljit Nirman. So, as uh, Janisha just mentioned, the first um, honor from the Punjabi Heritage Foundation is going to be proudly presented to Mr. Kailash Mittal for his outstanding contributions in philanthropy, the establishment of scholarships uh, for higher learning education at Carleton University, and his continued involvement in the Indo-Canadian community activities. And I don't know if you all know or not, but two years ago, we donated $1 million to Carleton University. And in his honor, and in his honor, one of the halls there, the Alumni Hall, was changed to the Kailash Mittal Theatre. We, we now have a brief video presentation about Mr. Kailash Mittal. I came to Canada in 1968 with only eight dollars in my pocket, but I had determination to succeed and give the best of my value to this great country. I had a very humble start, and my qualifications were not recognized in Canada uh, because I didn't have any money with me, so I had to start some labor jobs. Uh, later on, I qualified as a high school teacher, and from high school teacher, because I had the business acumen, I went into state and financial planning and I specialized in showing Canadian investors how to not only get rich but also create wealth with nothing done and also get a tax refund with every pay check. And in order to promote myself, I started to give lectures, seminars, give interviews write articles and so forth. Later on, I, I encouraged my children to get into business, not to look for jobs, be entrepreneurs. And today I'm very proud of my son and my daughter. They have created over 250 jobs in the city of Ottawa. Later on, I got involved with Carlton University and my father inspired me to give donations on education my father believed that you could lose everything, everything in life, but nobody can take education from you. As a result, I started source scholarships. Uh, later on, Carlton University gave me the opportunity, and I made a heavy donations to them, and they renamed uh, the Illuminati Theatre to be called Kalash Michael Theatre. This shall be my everlasting legacy. Okay. First of all, I would like to request to present this honor, Mr. Deepak Oberai, who is a well-known figure in our community. He's an MP from Calgary. He's a Parliamentary Secretary for Foreign Affairs. To come up and please honor Mr. Kailash Mittal. I now ask Mr. Kailash Mittal to please come up to the front and receive his <laughs> presence. Thank you for being here today to share with me this special occasion. Today's ceremony is being 
dedicate it in the memory of my wife who passed two years ago with cancer. She was my life's best companion. She professionally believed in power and value of education and inspired me to establish scholarships not only in Carden but also at other locations. I started with one scholarship in year 2004 and then went up to four scholarships a few years later. And after creating first scholarship, I started to receive letters of acknowledgement and appreciations from the recipients of the scholarships. So that gave me a lot of encouragement and then year after year I created more scholarship. Then in year 2007, Carter University blessed me by renaming the Alumni Theatre to be called the Kalash, my tenth theatre. This shall be my everlasting legacy in this country for years and years to come. Over the years, it is estimated that a large number of Carlton students who graduated under the bannership of the scholarships have done extremely well in life. I wish to establish three more scholarships in a few years to come. The Kalash Mitchell Theatre is one of the biggest and fully equipped theatre of its kind in the city of Ottawa. It has a seating capacity of 404, 444 people. Besides usual educational programs, lectures, it is also widely used by the public professional for hosting social, economic and political and all other kind of events. And the most wonderful thing is it is easily accessible, location is very good and it's open all year round. Furthermore, my inspiration, ordinations, how I started. I was always motivated by my father, who used to say, you could lose everything in life everything in life, but nobody can take your education from you. It doesn't matter how you got it. And I firmly believe in it. <laughs> my father was four when my grandfather died. Being a, being a family of limited means, he had to rely on the donation of the rich to finish his school, including the law school. When he graduated to law school, he started to, to donate the institution that supported him for what is right. And I want to do the same thing. As a result, he valued every opportunity made available to him, worked very smart, became a very successful lawyer. Thereafter, every year, he donated 10% of his gross income toward the institutions that supported him. Throughout his life, he never forgot the value of education, hard work, and above all, the help of donors, the virtue of giving back to the community, and I am following his footsteps. Furthermore, I run a small daycare about 101 kids in the city of Ottawa. Their ages run from 15 months to 11 years. We have two locations. We also offer French immersion program because I want the children to learn French when they grow up because it's a bilingual country. In my daycare, I have established three scholarships 
every year. Those scholars are given to the outstanding students in my daycare based on the evaluation of my staff and also the evaluation of the school records. I want to encourage the young children to be something, work hard, educate themselves, and give back to the society. Thank you very much. Oh, lastly, lastly. <laughs> I am very thankful to this organization, as well as Jayadeep Singh, has spent hundreds and hundreds of hours in organizing this wonderful function. Thank you.